The U.S. withdrew from Afghanistan last August, leaving the Taliban to rule the country and its people. As decrees have swept the country, there's a population often forgotten, widows. Many women find themselves more at risk without a male companion, forced into an already dire job market as the country faces one of the world's worst humanitarian crises. ABC's Maggie Ruley has the story. Grief. It's an indescribable pain, but it can also act as a force to bring lost souls together, bonding them in mourning, sewing their pain into threads. These widowed women learn trade skills, burying their sadness between the seams. In Kabul, the Center for Assistance and Promotion of Afghan Women provides shelter, a place to learn a space to be accepted. The United Nations estimates that about two and a half million widows live in Afghanistan. It's one of the largest populations of widows in the world. In addition to the economic barriers widowed women face, they're often stigmatized, believed to be bad omens. And since the Taliban took over in 2021, more than half a million Afghans have lost or been pushed out of their jobs, putting widows at the mercy of a struggling job market, becoming the sole providers for their families. <laughs> Working day and night to create a sturdy foundation, Nargis has been providing for her family for years. Though her financial situation is dire, like many Afghans who live in extreme poverty. She isn't the only one in the center facing this painful journey. Rakshana works as a tailoring teacher, lifting up others whose shoes she once filled. With the Taliban's strict directives, women are supposed to have a male companion at their side in public, making it dangerous to do the simplest of things alone, like work or go to school. The center prefers to employ widowed women, knowing the discrimination they face outside the stone walls and the risk they face by showing up to work each day. Husbands often leave little to nothing behind for their grief-stricken wives as the country faces one of the world's worst humanitarian crises. The Afghan economy is facing a catastrophic cash shortage, leaving the country without enough money to pay the salaries of people who are employed. Food, a slimmer of hope. Medicine, a dream for many Afghans. وضعیت اقتصادی مریضا خو بیخی خراب می باشه اتا مو پول نمی داشته باشه که دوای خدا بخره ما در اینجا بسیار خانم را خب کم و بیش کمک کردیم که اگر شما از قصه هر کدامش بشنوین شاید روزها فکر کنین و شبها و گریه کنین The director of the center assists women on the ground, while the founder runs five centers like this one in hiding. I always believe my voice have the power which no gun has. When I'm speaking so strongly, honestly, and frankly about the people of my country, then it definitely goes deeper 
than just a bullet. Women of my generation have not forgotten the reign of the Taliban, and we are, as always, worried for the future. At 26 years old, Zarifa Ghaffari became Afghanistan's youngest female mayor, one of a few women there who rose to political power. I was receiving threats, uh, direct threats from the Taliban. I have the letters from them uh, asking me to quit, otherwise they will kill me. After three failed assassination attempts, she was one of the few women who escaped the country when the Taliban took over in 2021. There was last attack on my life. It was three people coming to the main street, trying to stop my car, but it was a bulletproof car. 20 days later, this uh, attack on my life, they killed my dad in front of our house. I'm not in my home anymore. So all of my day, it starts from Afghanistan and it ends with Afghanistan. It's a shared heartbreak these women feel simultaneously from across the world. Despite the sadness, a new community built in hopes it brings a fresh start for women desperately in need of one. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.